Welcome to the lesson on intrusion detection and intrusion prevention. And from this screen here, I'm sure you can kind of get an idea of what we're about to talk about. Some really cool security devices. Now we have multiple layers of security. We already know about our firewalls, we know about content filtering, anti-malware, but what if we get attacked somehow and an intruder actually makes it into our network and our firewall has no idea that this has happened? Well, we have these other devices that are sitting on the inside of our network and their sole purpose is to detect and alert about attacks and even try to stop them in the case of the IPS versus the IDS. So this is actually going to be a pretty quick lesson where we will describe the difference between an IDS and an IPS and the reasons why we have them. So let's go ahead and jump in. As we said, we'll discuss an intrusion detection system, and there's two types of that, a host-based and a network-based, as with other things we found, and then also the intrusion prevention system. And we're just gonna have this one slide here with these two diagrams to allow us to understand what's going on with IDS and IPS and how these two things are different, because we need to understand the difference. So first off, on the left here, we're gonna focus on this diagram with the intrusion detection system. Now, intrusion detection systems were available before intrusion prevention systems. And the basics of an intrusion detection system is if there is an attack on the network, the intrusion detection system is going to be sitting there and analyzing traffic that passes through the network. And if it sees something that is abnormal, it's going to send an alert and it's going to send that via something like an email or if we have a server that can send texts out to our security team we can be alerted that way too but the gist of it is we have an attack come in the IDS attack detects that and then sends an alert now there's many different ways that our intrusion detection systems actually function and operate and try to detect that there's intruders and we're not going to get into all of those different ways but one thing that they do do that's pretty interesting is they run through a network normalization process where they realize or learn rather not realize but learn what the normal functions of the network are like and then when they see a difference happen they send out an alert they can also detect things like trojans and different types of malware as well and their signatures always need to be updated on these ids and ips devices but this is the basics of how it works so basically what the ids does is it detects and sends alerts and there's two types we have a host-based intrusion detection system which is called hids hids and that runs on just a computer and that will just be performing intrusion detection for a specific computer now in the world of networking, we don't really see HIDS too often anymore. We really are focused on the network-based intrusion detection systems, which is in the diagram as we see here. The IDS device that actively watches the network and then just detects and sends alerts. So that's an IDS. So if that's an IDS, then what's an IPS? Well, it's got the word prevention in it. And so you can probably understand something else that the intrusion prevention system does that the IDS doesn't. But the IPS, can do everything the IDS does as well. And let's see how that actually functions. And first off, we can tell a difference in these diagrams by seeing that the IPS is normally placed in line behind the firewall, in between our firewall and our corporate network. Whereas the IDS sits there on the network and it doesn't necessarily have to be in line. So this is how we set up our IPS. And the reason is because we want this IPS to be an extra layer of security before internet traffic can get into our LAN. So we have our firewall, but if an attacker makes it through the firewall, our IPS can still possibly help us stop the attack. So the basics of it is this. There's an attacker out there in the internet that makes it through our firewall, and then the IPS catches that attack and says, you shall not pass, and denies that connection. And that's basically what the IPS does in addition to detecting and alerting. It will still send alerts if there's an attack or if it notices something strange. But the difference between the IPS and the IDS is that it actively defends the network. The IPS actively defends the network, whereas the IDS just detects and sends alerts. All right, guys, that is the difference between our IPS and our IDS. And now you should have a good understanding and everything you need to know about these two devices for the network plus. So let's do a recap. We need to know that IDS and IPS, they work from inside the network, behind our firewall, and they're there to catch things that make it through the firewall that our firewall does not detect. So rather than filtering on the network edge, like a firewall does, our IDS and IPS sit 
behind the firewall on the inside of the network. And now more specifically, we'll talk about the differences between IDS and IPS one more time before we close out this lesson. The IDS detects attackers and network anomalies and sends alerts via email or text. And there was two types, host-based and network-based. And the IPS adds additional security by actively defending the network and stopping attacks. You shall not pass. All right, guys, I hope you got a kick out of that. And that is the lesson on IDS and IPS our intrusion detection and intrusion prevention systems. Thank you very much for viewing, guys. And as always, have a great one, and I'll see you in the next video. Jacob Hess here. Thank you guys for viewing the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'd also like to remind you that if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, be sure to check out our Career Blueprint and Engineer Training Program at www.zerotoengineer.com.